channel, it's Nicole here. This is my first video, so I just wanted to get some things clear. I am in, in no way applying to my professional makeup artist. Everything I will do, be doing in this channel is my opinion and what I think is best for my makeup routine. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, follow me on Instagram at I am Nicole Spiteri, and even comment in something down below. Okay, let's get right into the video. even more I grab my floor more illuminating primer makeup base and put that on my face also just a little bit I find it really good and my foundation keeps on longer and it even pulls up some on my pores okay after that I just go straight to brows so for brows, I use this Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil in the shade 210 Soft Brown. And I I brushed my brows. And go in with the other end, which is this like waxy pencil kind of like this okay so first thing I do is I outline my brows from the upper part and I don't start from where the brow starts I start from where the brow hair start going to the side so I leave a little bit of space like I start right here and just start outlining Then after that, I just outline the brow from the lower side. And then I just fill in between the lines I just fill in. Okay, after I do that, I grab the other end once again, which is this spoolie, and I run through my hairs to blend the product into my brow hairs to give it that more natural looking brow. Okay, after I do that, I, I grab the Catrice Cosmetics Camouflage Cream in the shade 010 Ivory. And I grab my Morphe M421, which looks like this. It's a small concealer brush. And I just clean them out, like so. Okay. After I do that, I grab my Y6 from Morphe and I just blend that concealer out. And that's basically it for my brows. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other brow off camera. Okay, now that the brows are done, we're moving on to the eyeshadow. So for this step, I go in again with the Morphe M421 and Catrice Cosmetics Camouflage Cream in the shade 10 Ivory. And I just 
put it all over my eyelid so we have a clean, fresh, light base for our eyeshadows to pop out even more. Then I blend that in once again with the Y6 from Morphe. And I like to set it with the Flormar Invisible Loose Powder. So the eyeshadows sit better on the lid. I like to set also the brow product so they stay on for longer. Then I dust off this powder with the Morphe M536 which is like this. I just dust it off. And now I can just go in with the eyeshadow. So for eyeshadow, I'm going in with this orange color right here. It's a very nice shade. It's very summery and goes with a lot of skin tones and a lot of eye colors too. So I'm going in with the Morphe M573 for this one. I'm just gonna tap off the excess and start off by blending it in circular motions in the outer corner of the eye. Now from that point, I'm just going, I'm gonna go in and a little bit more towards the brow bone, towards the brow bone. Now that that's done, I need to add some more definition to the eye shape by grabbing the Morphe E36, which is a small definition brush. And I'm going in with this brownish kind of shade right here. So I'm grabbing that and going in right in the outer part of the crease. Okay, now that I put that in there, I'm going back with the Morphe M573, which is the brush I used to put on the orange color and blend the brown in the orange. So it's more, it's softer. Okay, now that that's that, I'm going to grab some eyeliner. So for eyeliner, I like using the Mistauda Waterproof Dip Liner. It has a really nice dip. It's like not too dense, but like not too soft either. It's a perfect tip for eyeliner. It's my favorite eyeliner. Okay, so let's get to eyeliner. Okay, now the liner's done. And after I do the eyeliner, I like to add some eye pencil to do lower lash line on top of the waterline. I do this, I start from here and add to like the mid part of the eye. Oh, and I did that using the Aqua Call. Misauda Milano eye pencil. So I like to do that because again it adds a vision to the eye. Okay, now next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to curl my lashes. So my lashes are curled and I'm going in with some mascara. So this is my favorite mascara, it's the Mistauda Mega Lash Panoramic Mascara. It's a very big applicator, I like it so much. Okay, mascara is done and now moving on to lashes. I'll be putting on these Flormar lashes 
they're so nice and yet so natural but add so much to your eye look. These are the 101s. Maybe I'm applying them with this aloe vera strip lash adhesive. Okay, so the lash is on and I'm going to apply some of that mascara once again to blend my lashes into the fake ones. Okay, so this eye is finally done and I'm gonna go ahead do the other eye off camera and I'll be back soon. Alright guys, so my eyes are done and they're looking pretty nice. I love this look. And now we're moving right to the face. So, for foundation I use this MAC Studio Fix Fluid and this shade NC30. Okay, so I've blended in my foundation and now it's time for some concealer. So for concealer, I'm using this Revlon Colorstay Concealer, the shade of 2 um, Light Pale. Okay, so I'm going to apply this right underneath my eyes. And on the side of my nose also. Drag that out. And on the other side too. Drag that right out. You need to make sure to have a bright look for summer. I'm going to do a straight line on the Nose, the dot right there. I'm going to do the three lines going straight out to the forehead and three over there. I'm going to blend this in with my lipsticks. Okay, now that I've blended out the concealer, I'm going to set that and I'm going to grab once again the former powder. So I'm going to um, use the pop that came with and I'm going to dust this off with the Morphe M536. Just dust it all over my face. Now the next thing I always do is bronzing. I'm going to grab the Hoola Benefit Bronzer and I'm going to squeeze in my face and just I love this bronzer, it just blends so good my skin and like gives me that bronze get it's like I just really love it. Okay, I'm just gonna put it there. I'm go also going to put it right here on my temples and just blend it up. And again on the other side. Okay. okay, now that I've done bronzing, I'm going to grab the floor more and this little loose powder to the from the bronzer. And again on the other side. Okay, that's done. I'm going to remove it with the Morphe M536. That's pretty nice. Like very snatched. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a little brush to, you know, try to make my nose look smaller. Okay, so I have the little pink brush. And it's like this, and I like to use it to make my nose look smaller. <laughs> kind of. Okay, so I just like do a straight line right here, and like say it on the other side. And like this to my eyebrows. Like then do this. Be like my snatch nose. I don't like 
what I always do. So like, so I'm going to blend this in with my stick. Just tap on it, not more like tapping on it instead of like blending it. But why I'm tapping on it is like blending nicely into the skin. Anyway, that's just my tap to make my lungs are to look a little bit smaller. So like that's that. Now the next and like most beautiful thing of makeup, I'm going to do some highlighter. Okay, so for highlighter, I bought this um, Max Factor. I don't know, it's cream bronzer. Giant bronze, but like for me, they didn't have any highlighter. But for me, this is a big highlighter. I know. Okay, so I'm gonna use this like big fat brush, and I'm just gonna grab a little bit of the excess. All right, so the last thing for this look, I'm just going to do some gloss. I have this Burberry um, kind of tinted gloss, and I'm just going to put it on. That's it, I don't like to do any like colored lips with this look because it's more summery, I think. Okay, so that's the final look. I just put some MAC Face Plus on and that's it. I put down my hair because like I find it impossible to do my makeup with my hair blah blah. But that's a fine look. I really really like it and I think it's so summery. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and maybe even comment something down below. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's I am Nicole Spiteri. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye!